If you've been struggling keeping your Instagram grid aesthetic and pleasing to the eye and on brand, then I think what you might need is an Instagram brand vision, a board and a vision about what your grid should look like and pre-plan how your grid should look. And so in today's video, I want to help you pre-plan your Instagram brand and your Instagram brand vision for your grid so that you have guidelines to follow for when you post content. So today we're going to create a brand board and a vision for Instagram in Canva and let's get started. For the best advice and tips on growing your audience with fresh content ideas, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll get my latest uploads every week. To get started creating your Instagram brand and your vision, you will need to open up a Canva document. And you can actually get a link to this document right below in the description. So I have this document pre-created and you can grab it free right below this, this video in the description. So, if you need to create this from scratch, you can create this right in Canva. Essentially, it's just texts and different elements added inside of Canva on a Canva document. But inside of this document, what we're going to create is your Instagram branding kit. We're going to create a mood board for the general feeling and aesthetic of your brand and we're going to create a place where all of your graphic templates will be displayed so that you have an idea of your visual brand's identity in your marketing content and how that all looks together, and your Instagram feed, what it might look like once everything's put together in one feed on Instagram. So this document sort of pulls everything together, but the first place where you really wanna start is going to be the mood board. Now the mood board is a place where you can gather photos, designs, illustrations, different color palettes, textures, and descriptive words that you feel represent what you want your visual brand to look and feel like. So one of the best places to find inspiration for your brand is going to be Pinterest. On Pinterest, you can type in the search bar anything that you would consider part of your visual identity, whether that's earthy tones or yellow and greens or maybe the ocean. What you're looking to do is save images into a file or a Pinterest board that inspires your brand. One of the things that I also love is just going to the ivorymix.com stock photos and downloading images straight from the Ivory Mix membership and adding them to the mood board as well. So here you can see I've started to create this brand board on Pinterest with different color palettes, illustrations, as well as photos. I'll continue adding to this and then when I've completed it, what I'll do is I'll actually go to the image and I will, I will right click and I'll save the image to my computer just for the personal use of my brand board. Once you've downloaded the images and inspiration that you have for your mood board, you want to upload those into Canva under Uploads and drag and drop the images, the patterns, and any illustrations or textures that you want to include in your mood board on this on this mood board. So this is simply created using frames. So if you go to Elements, and go to grids or go to frames, you can insert different shapes and add more images into the, the brand board. So once you have your mood board put together, you're, a, you're now able to select colors out of the photos and the inspiration that you've gathered. 
So I've mostly already done that, but this yellow color isn't really working out. So I'm gonna click on that color, come up here to the color palette, and you can scroll down to the photo colors. And what Canva is doing is actually pulling colors out of the photos that you've uploaded into this document. And so if you have multiple photos, you can go to see all, and it has all the colors here. So you can see a lot of very similar colors in the photos and illustrations that I've uploaded. So I'm gonna change this yellow to something a little more orange or, you know, burnt orange, something along those lines. So I'm gonna make that one change. And I did happen to have yellow up here. And so what I'll do is I will click change all and it will change everything that I previously had as of that yellow color to that more orange color. Once you're done with the mood board, and now it's time to move on to the actual brand itself with the fonts, the color palette, and the essential elements to your brand, like your brand logo, your headshot, patterns and shapes, one of the tools that Canva provides you to create different font combinations and color combinations is also located under the styles tab and under fonts. They have different font combinations that you can explore that they have done the research on and have made look good together. So what I've done here is I've started to use Tenor Sands with Biryani Ultra Light, and then I've added this third accent font. This third accent font is uh, Brittany, and Canva provides you so many different fonts, but some of them do happen to be pro fonts for those who pay for the pro features on Canva, but they have tons of free fonts to choose from. So once you've selected your fonts, you will name the fonts here. So I've gone ahead and labeled the fonts and this will come in handy when we get to the graphics part of creating our Instagram brand and our vision. But once you have the fonts created, you can start to search for patterns and shapes that are inspired by your mood board. So we would look for palm leaves, different organic rainbows, and potentially organic leaf shapes. So you can go to elements and type in organic rainbow and see lots of different rainbow illustrations. And so you can look for different pro ones and free ones. You can also filter by free versus pro. So we'll just filter by free. And what we're looking for is an illustration that we can consistently use within different elements of our brand. You can use choose multiple illustrations or um, just one or two. I recommend at least having two different types of illustrations or design elements that you can help create a better graphic or a brand with. So I'm right now going to search for different elements that feel like they go with this mood board. So here I've added some patterns and shapes that sort of look and feel like my mood board. Now we need to move on to logo and our headshot. So the logo, you can create logos inside of Canva. You would simply come over to create design and in the search tab type logo and you'll be able to pull up a logo template and under templates they will have different examples of different logos. So if you're looking for logo designs and inspiration you could start on Pinterest and look around but inside of Canva they're going to have different templates that you can start with and then customize for your brand and utilizing your mood board to help you do that. So for this brand, it's got a little more of a tropical vibe and I think I'm creating a brand for a VA who helps entrepreneurs take more vacations. So uh, I think I'm just gonna start with this and customize it. 
Okay, so now that I've added a headshot and a logo, I'm ready to move on to the brand vision, target audience, brand keywords, and hashtags. So what you'll wanna do here is insert who you're helping and what you're helping them with. That way you know what your brand's vision is and you can help use this for your Instagram bio. In addition to that, you'll wanna think about your brand's keywords and what you wanna be found for and known for on Instagram. So because this is a VA for entrepreneurs to take more vacations, the brand keywords might be virtual assistant. And the brand vision and target audience would be helping entrepreneurs take more vacations with the help of a VA. At this point, you might wanna start adding and creating a list of commonly used hashtags for your brand, or also you may want to create a branded hashtag. So if your brand's name is Vacation VA, then you might create a brand hashtag Vacation VA. That way you could start using it and become known under that branded hashtag. The next thing to do is show how your brand will be seen in your marketing content. So you wanna develop templates for each of your social media platforms and how you plan to show up online. And now you can start to utilize the mood board, your colors and your fonts, as well as illustrations, your logos and your headshot to develop the templates that you're going to create for your business. Luckily on Canva, you can come up to templates and go to social media and go to each of the different types of social media platforms and start there with unique templates. Now, one of the things I do want to mention is that on ivorymix.com, we create bundles of Canva templates that go together. So for instance, if you're starting a podcast and you're looking for Instagram stories, we have a series of 30 different podcast templates just for podcast brands. They all go together and they're easily customizable now that you have your brand fonts and your brand colors. So you're able to customize each one of these and you've got a set of 30 for the entire month. So what I've done is I've opened up uh, one of the templates, changed out some of the colors to my brand's colors. And now uh, I will consider different placements of the illustrations and things that are included in my brand, as well as different images. So I've gone ahead and used different templates for the social media headers and different things. And so I've placed them onto the graphics template board. So I have a visual idea of what my templates and photos and brand colors might look like all together in our general marketing and um, marketing content. So once we have that together, we have a pretty well put together brand. What we need to do now is tie all of that together into an Instagram feed, including Instagram highlight covers and our headshot. So what you can do here is if you plan to just post graphics like this with colors and text, then you can create those graphics or you can go through the different stock photo sources or create brand photos for yourself and place those as inspiration on your Instagram grid. Keeping in mind a pattern or a color scheme that you will use on your grid. So I've created a video, which I'll link to uh, below in the comments. I created a video on different types of Instagram grids you can create, but for this grid, what I'm gonna do is create a more checker pattern. You can create whatever pattern or aesthetic you want, but I'm gonna go with the checker pattern. And so it's gonna be photo, graphic, photo, graphic. Every other day, it'll be a photo, and then the next day will be a graphic. So that's what I'm going to create, and we'll see how it comes together. So I've opened up this Canva template bundle from ivorymix.com where I'm going to customize all 30 of these for this brand's color palette and 
see how it works in the grid with the different photos. So I've added new illustrations from Canva on here and updated the quotes and the colors. And what I've done is I've uploaded those straight into my Instagram feed and combined that with the brand photos that I found on Ivory Mix. And now I have a feed that I am happy with planning. So with the strategy of doing photo, graphic photo, I now have a plan for what my feed should look and feel like to match my Instagram graphics as well as my brand, including all of the fonts and things that I want to include in my brand. So it really helps to start with your mood board and then go from there. Now on this Instagram feed, you can even update what your bio might look like and your brand name and include your headshot and different colors for your highlight covers. If you wanna create unique highlight covers and download those and put them here, you can. Canva has wonderful highlight covers. You can just search for Instagram story highlight cover and you will pull up many different templates that you can start with. And I've already shown you how you can update that for your brand. So there you go, that's how you can plan an Instagram vision and build your brand before you start posting on your feed, utilizing Canva and all the tools available to you in Canva for planning out your brand and creating this document. Now, like I said below, you can get a link to this document free right below this video in the description. Also, if you're finding it hard to get new subscribers or connect with your audience, I've got a Secret Society Facebook group where you can join others and connect with other content creators and you can get a link to that right below this video as well.